guys, I'm the Toy Forever and you're watching another video by iPod King Carter. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to become a part of Team IKC, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, boo. Yo, what's going on everybody, it's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And today I got a little special finale video for you guys that like my My Team series. Now before I get started, well actually you know what, let me get started because I have 110,000 VC and it needs to be spent. But basically what I've done is sold all of my players that were marketable. Um, I kept all of my legends, so I do have a full roster. But I just don't have LeBron, Dwight, you know, Iggy, all those guys. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is doing a 110 VC, uh, 1000 VC pack opening. But also, this is just like, you know, a, a final hurrah. You know, um, I started my team late. I didn't start early with everybody else, so I weren't, I wasn't able to make it to the first seed. I actually um, was in the second seed. I think I made it to my final two games, and I couldn't, I couldn't win. Like I tried my best, but I couldn't win. So it bumped me back into the second seed, and I lost one. But now NBA 2K14 is like so close. Uh, it's like I don't even want to play this no more. <laughs> but um, for the people that always been asking me. Hey man, where's the gameplay? I don't understand. Where's the gameplay, iPod? All you do is pack openings. You don't play no games. Go inside the description. It's a playlist link that says, you know, uh, Road to the Playoffs. That's all the games that I've played that I put on to YouTube. They're over on Game Face Studios YouTube channel. Um, I made those exclusive to the channel so that I could provide some, you know, quality videos over there. So, you know, it's, it's so hard, you know, chopping up a whole bunch of my career videos every single day and, you know, playing this one man show case every game. So, you know, I just want to do something a little different over at Game Face. But um, it looks like I really haven't gotten anything crazy. No, play I think I got one player, but it's cool. All right, I had to run a little bit of damage control real quick. The baby started crying. <laughs> Oh man, it's crazy trying to do all these videos, keep up with the family, go to work. You guys don't understand how that schedule looks. Man, a lot of guys that do YouTube, they're still in school, some are in college. It's pretty hard when you got a family, man. <laughs> I promise you, trust me, Eric Jones, uh, he definitely know how it goes. Man, I'm had went to Summer Madness 3, and he was telling me like, yo man, people be hitting me up. Talking about, yo, man, it's been three, four days. You ain't upload to YouTube. What's going on? <laughs> like, yo, man, the fam. You know, you start running errands for the lady, taking care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Trying to provide. Whew. The schedule started looking crazy. But uh, I still haven't really gotten anything crazy. I'm just getting a whole bunch of signature skills, attribute updates, coaches, a few jerseys, a few uh, courts. Nothing crazy. Nah, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do the season kickoff, and let's see what the guaranteed players I'm I'm um, be looking at. But you know, you always get that guaranteed person. Just rock with this for a little bit. I'm probably gonna do about about 30 VC with this. You know what I'm saying, well not well not 30, but 30,000. Just see just see how it goes. You know. Let's see who we got. Okay, Clint Richardson. All right, all right. And I got Wells Fargo. That's cool. But um, I know a lot of people have questions about what I'm going to be doing for my team in NBA 2K14. Well, I'm not going to start on current gen. I'm just going to wait until uh, next gen. And when I start it up, I'm probably going to, I know I'm going to have that 10,000 VC, Phil Jackson. I'm, I know I'm going to have that uh, 10,000 VC for the uh, pre-order, I think, or something like that. So instead of putting that to a my player, I'm probably gonna save that solely for um, my first pack opening or whatever for my team. Hopefully I can open up some good packs and you know get a couple good peoples. Uh, when it comes to you know uploading gameplay and pack openings, I may do 
most of that on my channel for NBA 2K14. Uh, for Game Face Studios, I think I'm going to try to figure out something different to do. Um, you know, to try to provide something for 2K and uh, the other sports games I play. I know a lot of people love my 2K videos. That's why most of you guys have subscribed. But um, there's a couple other games out there that people like for me. I know when uh, EA Sports UFC comes out, I'm going to be slapping that everywhere. <laughs> um, I already know that. But um, what else do I have on my plate that I might try out? Um, I might even start an, uh, an association solely for Game Face. Willie McCarter. Um, I, I might do that. You know, it's, it's so many different moods now. Um, you got Cruz, you got my team, you got my career, you got association. Shoot, I might, I might even just do a regular season move. You know what I'm saying? Just mix things up. Cause um, Brian Shaw. I see a lot of people um like the fact that I can um play more five on five ball now because of you know game like moves like my team. You know um, I was always the guy that would hit the blacktop, being a crew. I, I love playing one-on-one -on -one games. If I beat you, I really don't have nobody else to worry about. But in the five-on-five -five setting, after you give the ball away, you got to know, Kevin Duckworth, you got to know if you're going to hit the shot with the person. You got to know that release. You got to know everybody's foul line shot, their dribble moves, what they can and can't do physically. So, you know, five-on-five -five game is pretty good now. Um, as it goes for ranked games, I'm really not too much in the ranked games, even though uh, those in my team games kind of, you know, coincide with each other. It's just that with ranked games, man, it's like you know what you're going to see. You're going to see Heat, Lakers, Knicks, Pacers. <laughs> like, that's all you're going to see. So, you know, I might switch it up. All right. I don't know how much VC I just spent on them uh, season kickoffs. I'm going to just do one more, and then we're going to uh, jump into the next one. I might go back to gold. Might do that. All right. Uh, look, I'm getting a bunch of Pacers jerseys, though. Goodness gracious. What's going on with all these Pacers jerseys now? Come on. Give me all the Sixers jerseys, please. That's all I asked for. Bunch of Sixers jerseys. All right. <laughs> Just had to run damage control again. Oh, man. Um, Where was I? Uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think it was something about Pacers jerseys and moving on. So, um, I think next gen will have something a little more, you know, to show. Current gen, I know a lot of people want to want me to talk about it, so I'm on as well. Um, it's a lot of commentators out there that have been voicing their opinions of NBA 2K14. Now, me, I was probably one of the first people to say this, but um, as I started seeing info for 2K14, I called it NBA 2K13 2.0. Now, the reason why I called it that is because there were so many problems in NBA 2K13 that needed to be addressed, and I knew that they were going to come out with a current gen title, and I felt as though if they got everything perfectly right, with NBA 2K14, all the problems, all the glitches, all the exploits, all everything. I felt like it was going to be NBA 2K13 2.0 because when next gen comes out, nobody's going to be looking back at current gen at all. You know, um, they couldn't go any further with graphics at all for NBA 2K14 current gen. So that's why I called it that. Now, um, for the guys that went to the NBA 2K14 team up, me... Shakedown 2012, K Spade the Prospect, uh, Shake and Bake, Sub the Gamer, QJB, YMD TV. We all went out there with a game plan. Um, basically, we wanted to get in the developer's ear. We wanted to let them know all the problems that needed to be addressed first. Um, then we had to talk about gameplay, all the you know things that we didn't like, all the exploits and stuff like that. Then we tried to get into modes. You know, we tried to talk about modes, see what we could learn. See if they added anything and you know just like last year when i went to go to nba 2k 13 team up they weren't really talking about moves too much so when we came back a lot of people had questions about moves and we really didn't have any answers now one thing that was big on everybody's list um was crew move 
and crew mode was supposed to make a return this year um when we went out to the team up me k spade we played this little uh black top match with stamina with blocking and we were like okay they named it cruise instead of crew mode so i felt as though it wasn't crew mode you feel me k spade after um doing his interview he kind of felt the same way because we were playing on the blacktop, you know, it wasn't in an arena, we didn't have any custom jerseys, so, ooh, Daryl Dawkins, um, so, they added in, you know, the jersey factor, but guess what, they kept it on the blacktop, and they kept it to 21, so, first off, we don't got no refs, uh, it's, n it's not four quarters, but we got jerseys, and we can play three on three and five on five, so, um, when the big news came out about Cruz, everybody was furious um <laughs> k spade made a nice little video um i even seen smooth make a video about the developers being lazy in general you know with all the things that they've had in the past and what they haven't accomplished recently and you know i could definitely agree with a lot of stuff that he was saying so you know i seen shake and bake made a video <laughs> shake and bake <laughs> <laughs> I get I I got I got to introduce him to you know the crews because <laughs> I, I don't know if he uh, actually ever played crew before, but um you know YMD made a, I think he made a video as well. Um I really haven't seen too much of the gamer. I think I think school is kick, kicking his behind. Um I know Shakedown made a video, but um the reason why I didn't make a video personally is because I feel like all the other guys made the right type of videos and i promoted them you know i liked them shared them talked about them and you know i talked to them guys personally and i felt as though you know everything they were saying were right you know it's like we went out there to 2k with you know a couple goals and we thought that we came out winners and when we heard that crew wasn't going to be you know fully developed or fully finished we all felt like, hey, man, y'all ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all just lied to our face. Y'all played us. You know what I'm saying? We went out there, and y'all ain't look out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't look out for the cookout. So my thing to say to, you know, my fellow commentators and everyone in the 2K community, I feel like they put the right step, right, like, they put the right foot forward. You might as well say, because I didn't even think that they were going to have crew mode this year at all. I didn't even I didn't even think that they were gonna attempt to try to bring it back ever. So you know the simple fact that we fought for it and they tried by bringing in you know a little stripped down version based out over the blacktop, which they already have finished and completed. I feel like they're trying to step in the right direction because they have to. Like it's it's no way that the community is gonna keep standing for us not being able to have this move. So. Here are my thoughts. I'm thinking totally that they're probably not going to bring the full mode back until NBA 2K15. Now, I know it's a lot of speculation out there talking about NBA 2K14 next gen. They may just be waiting to, you know, showcase it on that. Usually, 2K doesn't do things that's not going to be marketable or going to help them make money. And I'm going to just be, you know, totally honest with you guys. I don't feel like 2K is gonna come out with come out with crews with arenas and stuff like that on 2K14 next gen because what's gonna happen when NBA 2K15 comes out? It's gonna be the same story with NBA 2K11 and NBA 2K12. Now, if you guys don't know what that story is, basically NBA 2K11 was the most played game for a few months while NBA 2K13, I mean NBA 2K12 was out. And the reason for this was crew mode then did not return for NBA 2K12 and the servers were still on for NBA 2K11. So even though, you know, a brand new game is out, people were still playing the old game. And I'm gonna tell you why people had to stop playing the old game and why 2K cut the servers off they weren't making money off of nba 2k12 i'm gonna just I'm, I'm i'm sorry i gotta be brutally honest with you guys nba 2k12 was not selling as much as it should have because of nba 2k11 it was not getting played as much as 
because of 2k11 now when they cut off the servers to 2k11 and crew mode and you weren't able to you know play with your crews online guess what everybody had to do they had to jump ship go do something go go outside have fun or they had to play nba 2k12 and that was that and the reason why they weren't making money is because when people take games back to gamestop and trade them in and stuff like that the company that initially sells the game doesn't make money back once somebody trades the game in and then GameStop sells it. That's where GameStop makes their money. I know a lot of people always think, oh, well, man, 2K making all this bread. I, I just I just traded my joint in and they probably making bread off that. No, they're not. When you trade in your game to GameStop and you get that little 8 to $11 or whatever, GameStop resells that game for probably 40 or more and then they make that profit off that game that's where their profit comes in at when you when you get your eleven dollars back they'll probably make 30 off of it you feel me and I, i'm just gonna have to say that you know it's a business that's what they have to do that's why they got so many chains around you know wherever around america if i don't know if they're uh, international or not but that's how they make their money they have to make their money by reselling games and of course you know they make their money off of endorsements and getting regular game but back to the point so when nba 2k 13 came out everybody was like yo i'm looking for a better game the graphics are going to look a little bit better the animations look totally better and when we went out to the team up we saw bounce passing we saw spacing we saw all this good good and we were really hyped like we promoted that game so much it was to the point that everybody was like yo 2k13 gotta be the best basketball game ever Otis Thorpe oh snap but as soon as we got the game the actual game not the demo the actual game we didn't know what we were playing I, me and shakedown will tell you till this day NBA 2k13 that shipped was not the NBA 2k13 that we played at team up last year I'm gonna just keep it all the way real with y'all now as it goes for NBA 2k14 at team up I'm just praying to God that what we played is what we'll get during ship date because it's also been a lot of things surfacing about NBA 2k14 such as a lot of people talking about the leaning layup cheese I made a video about that if you haven't seen it check it out but I could just give you a little rundown basically the leaning layup is supposedly in the game but it's not a botched animation where you stop whatever you're doing and you go in that animation you just go in that animation if you try to force your way into the paint and from what i saw it was a no call i didn't i didn't see i didn't see nobody get a foul call on that and you know dude looked like he almost got killed so you know i just want to see some real life examples um i seen that mike wayne tried to put an example over twitter wasn't really a great example because Derrick Rose was just changing the way his shot was at a stop. Like he hop stepped and stopped and then tried to do a layup and somebody just happened to be in the way. Not a continuous animation and do go lean in about to die out of bounds. You feel me? So, you know, I just need a better example in real life to see something like a leaning layup. Like the way the, the way that person is off balance with the way they look like they're almost at a 90 degree angle like come on man that's not realistic so uh the next thing on the list that was a big problem besides crew and the landing layup um a lot of people have heard that you know this path to greatness with lebron is set in the future and a lot of people are like well why would i kind of want to play that seeing as though they have moves like create a legend so you know I'm, I'm just i'm just saying this is just a lot going on right now with current gen nba 2k14 where people are just like i don't know you know what i'm saying i don't know but i will tell you for next gen i'm definitely grabbing nba 2k14 i already have it pre-ordered i already have it paid for those graphics alone are going to keep me into that game now i know a lot of people are like oh i'll probably just gonna play the game just because of graphics what about the gameplay well to me, NBA 2K14 is a big jump gameplay wise from NBA 2K13 because of all the, you know, botched animations and glitches and cheese and all of that. I feel like with the way I can handle a dribble stick and shooting stick already, 
I'm going to be fairly good at the game. I know a lot of people shoot with X and stuff like that. Me, I don't. If you guys watched my videos, you notice I don't Euros that much. I never really spin layup and spin dunk that much until lately. But when it comes to, you know, shooting, I shoot momentum shots. I shoot step backs. I shoot out of the post. I use the shot stick. So everything that has to deal with the dribble stick and shot stick, I'm already good. I'm golden. You know what I'm saying? Just like this pack opening. But, uh, you know, it's. I'm just hoping that this current gen NBA 2K14 is going to be good. Um, I know that my son is going to um, get the game and the system. I'm, I'm probably going to give him the Xbox 360 as well as a PS3 or give it to my girl. I don't know. And let him play it in our room. I don't know. It's just it's just next gen. I just can't wait. You know, that's that's my main thing I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Grand Theft Auto 5, which is going to be in a couple hours. And I'm waiting on that next gen, man. That next gen is going to be awesome. I know it is. But I will be getting current in NBA 2K14 as well. But um, throughout this pack opening, I can't even remember what I got. <laughs> I think I got Thorpe as a gold player. I think that was like the only person I got. I don't remember. I got to look. But um, I hope you guys like this little pack opening, man. I you like when I do these, I, I be trying to tell y'all, you know, I ain't the richest person in the world. I ain't the most hackingest player in the world. So I ain't gonna be throwing you guys these 300 million VC pack openings. You know what I'm I ain't gonna be doing all that. So you know. But um, what else do I got to talk about? Let me see. Let me see. All right, let me open up one more pack and think about something. Oh, by the way, um, GTA 5. Let's talk about that real quick. Cause I actually was gonna make a video for it, but I decided, nah. Ain't no reason to make a video telling you guys I'm gonna do a let's play. Um, but what I can tell you is, um, Franklin's story is probably gonna be the most uh, played on my channel. I'm probably gonna play least with Trevor. Just because simple fact he's too crazy for me, man. I can't be running from the cops all the time. I <laughs> I can't be doing all that, man. Um, I can't be you know killing people, putting them in trailer homes and all that. I can't be doing all that. Uh, Michael's story, I may look over his story a lot because I do like some like dysfunctional families that's you know rich, you know son talking back to you. You want to punch your son in the face, but you can't because you love him so much. So I'm probably gonna be looking into his story as well. Uh, when it comes to the missions, I'm going to try as much as I can to get a different aspect than, you know, probably everybody else that's probably going to do the mission solely as one person and then pray to God that their counterparts help them out. Because um, I know a lot of people probably like, oh, you're just going to be Franklin the whole time. Every time y'all doing a mission, it's going to get played out. No, I'm going to switch things up. You know, it's probably going to be a lot of good missions, side missions as well. So... I'm going to try to put as much as I can on my channel. Um, I know it's hard when you're doing a let's play to try to break it up in parts. You got to figure out which one is a main mission, which one is a side mission and all that. Shoot, I mess around by a manual. <laughs> but um, I know for a fact that you guys definitely going to want to check out regular Dave 2975 channel um, tonight as well when that game drops because I know he going to be going hammer. With the videos like he got he got some time off from work finally it's time to him to make up for lost times he's been putting out a lot of good uh gta info i watched a lot of his videos to get caught up but um when it comes to playing this gta 5 i just see that there's so much to do like i'm gonna be getting tatted i'm gonna be jumping off buildings cliffs i'm gonna be riding fast cars with hot women i'm gonna be doing all time yo you know what I might even run in a triathlon. Like I'm just, I'm just keeping it all the way real with y'all. <laughs> There's so much to do in this game. Like, and then when the online starts, and you wanna know the funny thing about them, Rockstar and 2K, two and the same. You wanna know why? Cause they're under the same company and they got a nice little marketing strategy. <clears throat> While online drops for GTA 5, NBA 2K14 current gen comes out. So I'm thinking, okay guys get this joint at what 12 a.m. you know what I'm saying get the 2k they'll probably max that out probably play like 10 hours and then hop right on that GTA 5 online and go ham <laughs> um, I already got my crew made up uh, for both I already got the names 
but uh, my GTA 5 crew is already made up. I'm probably going to start inviting people tonight. Yeah, probably tonight. Once I hop on, um, I'll probably make a video telling you guys how to join and stuff like that. I got to see how many people actually can get added to the crew on GTA 5, and then I'll go from there. But, um, oh, man, I just brought a season kickoff. <laughs> like, I'm just opening pet. Like, I don't care, man. This VC don't matter to me. San Vincent. But, um, it seemed like you don't be really getting that many guards when you, uh, opening pack, yo. Like, that one time I got Derrick Rose, got that D Rose. I'm just saying, you know. But, ain't too much else to do. Uh, you guys can tell with the total value of my, my team is, like, trash drug juice. Right, and I probably and I probably could win a game with the with the with the uh starters that I got. Um I still I still got Gerald Green though, I still got light skin LeBron. And I and the funny thing is I barely use him now. Like I was you I was depending on him so much, but now I barely use him. It's crazy. Uh let's see, 14,000, 13,000. Alright, um what else I got to say to y'all? Oh, one big thing. Make sure y'all like this video. It helps a lot that's what I've heard um, uh, if you guys don't have your Twitter and your YouTube integrated which means they synced up and whenever you like a video it goes to Twitter uh, it's a click to tweet link inside the description go ahead click that tweet out this video let everybody know you know what I'm saying iPod out this John doing finale video talking about all types of crazy stuff you know what I'm saying this boy just out of his goddamn mind now but um <laughs> Also, uh, everything else that's in the description, I got links to my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram. I have a link at the very top. It says to get a text message when I upload videos. You definitely want to do that. I heard that the text messaging drink is dope. You know what I'm saying? You could just be chilling wherever you at and you get a text message on when my new video drops. You can check it out. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like, yo, iPod, man, I just got that text, man. You crazy. So, you know, just do that. Um, another big thing with the description, the way that I've laid it out now, um, this is probably the way I'm going to be doing my descriptions for, you know, the remainder. Um, I used to put, like, a lot of tags and, you know, keywords in my description, and I feel like it just jumbled it all up. Like, it just looked like a mess when you come to my description. So... I've switched things up. I went to a base description where all my links will be at the top for now and on, and any information about the video will go at the bottom, such as the title, uh, the introduction, a little paragraph, and then probably the link to the main playlist for that game or for that series or whatever it may be. So you know that's how I'm gonna be doing my descriptions for now and on. Um, Custom controllers. Uh, it's a link inside there. As soon as PS4 and Xbox One drop, I have gotten a confirmation from Big Shot Mods that they will be customizing those controllers. So expect a big unboxing from me once the PS4 and the Xbox One drop. Of course, you know I'm about to get another custom controller. And they also do Dre Beats. So y'all y'all might want, you know, send in y'all Dre Beats or y'all can purchase some off their website. It's all official. It's all love. Um, what else I got for y'all? Mm, t-shirts. I do got t-shirts in the description too. Um, it's a link down there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. Before I forget, thank you guys for over 150,000 subscribers. I, I ain't even make a thank you video. I ain't shit. I ain't shit. I'm sorry. I ain't shit. But <laughs> I do want to thank you guys. It's, it's been a long time coming, and we've been doing this for a while now. And I just want to thank you guys for all y'all support. Like, y'all supported me from day one. You know what I'm saying? I was on the camera phone with it. I, and I wonder, if I still made camera phone videos, would y'all rock with me? Keep it a bean. Keep it a bean. Tell me the truth in the comment section. But uh, we coming down to the last 5K. But I ain't, I ain't got nothing else to do but wait for this Grand Theft Auto 5 to come out. I'm so hyped. <laughs> like it's probably like eight o'clock right now and i'm waiting to go to to the joint like i just I like it's, it's eight o'clock in the morning like i'm up though i'm wired i'm like i can't wait <laughs> so uh you know i'm gonna go get that joint come home play it all live baby you know what i'm saying oh one big thing 
that this is the last thing I'm gonna talk about, and I'm, I'm gonna get deep into it. I'm gonna sink my teeth into this subject. <clears throat> Y'all ready? No? Yes? No? Okay. Face cams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talking about face cams now. <laughs> um, a few months, maybe a year ago, I was doing a few face cams. I couldn't kind of, you know, comprehend the perfection on what needed to be done. I was trying to get schooled by my homie X Chase Money as much as I could. And I just felt like, you know, face cams really weren't my thing. And I really didn't want to step on Chase Money toes too much. So I let him live with the face cams. But recently he told me, yo, man, like the people want to see your face. And I was like, but I heard all they wanted to see is my fingernails. He was like, that too, that too. I was like, all right. So when the iPhone 5S drops, which is in a few days, what I'm gonna be doing is face cams for my videos. Now, I can't promise that it'll be a face cam every video, and I can't promise that I'll get you a face cam video every day. And I can't even promise you that I'll get you a face cam video every other day. But what I can promise you is, at least one face cam video a month is that cool with y'all you know what i'm saying just, just just one that's all i got for y'all man i can't can't be giving up nothing else man y'all be hurting my heart so you know just gonna get that up you know do a couple face cam videos and the thing about these face cam videos they're kind of a lot of hard work because you have to cut out like reactions and stuff like that and with the iPhone 5S dropping, the reason I'm gonna be doing my face cams with a cell phone, because Air Jones told me to. So blame Air Jones. Um, he said that basically the iPhone 5 camera was perfect for face cams. So I already know what it's gonna be like with an iPhone 5S. Like it's coming out with a better camera, uh, better, you know, speeds and stuff like that, being able to, you know, catch the moment. So I'm gonna be rocking with that. So iPhone 5S is on my list as well. And what's another big thing? Um, I think that's all, folks. Yep, I think that's all. I think that's all I got. I have no more left. That's all I have. All I have in this world is my word and my balls. No, I'm just bullshitting. But <laughs> but uh, just to show you guys my collection, we about to go real fast. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, dang, the people ain't in pop up. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so, you know, I got a couple gold legends, a bunch of silvers, you know. This is what I do. I'm about that silver life. You know what I'm saying? Silver whining and dining, you feel me? But, yeah, man. I'm about to get up out of here, man. Let me go through these courts real quick, show y'all a few jerseys. Come on. Hey, hey. Go back. All right, check out my jersey list. Uh, I'm getting jerseys, baby. Hold on, how I got two? How do I got? Why do I got two though? Okay, whatever. I bet you gonna only have one jersey, but hold on, man. Look, players, teams, upgrades, items, home jerseys. All right. So, yeah, this is this is the boy. Ooh, I like that Christmas jersey. Beautiful. But I'm about to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you guys stuck with me. I like this jersey. I'm glad you guys stuck with me, you know, through this whole pack opening. I know it was pretty long. I know people usually live stream pack openings, but hey, I ain't everybody. I do what I want. I do what I feel. Let's get nobody stop me. What's that classic? All right, well, I'm gonna get up out of here early. You know, I got way too many jerseys and I don't feel like going through all of them. Yes, I do. I feel like going through them all. Ah! Um, be sure to tell a friend to tell a friend that iPod King Carter will be uploading GTA 5 in a few hours. Also, be sure to let everyone know the iPod King Carter will be doing face cams in the near future. Also, let everybody know the iPod King Carter needs to go feed his daughter 
right freaking now. Peace, y'all. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.